If you don't slow walk menacingly, are you actually playing Vasaraga correctly? I don't think so. I think there's a part of it. You gotta get in the mindset. You know what I mean? You gotta get in the mindset. You gotta do a little slow walk. Hey guys, leave it here with a guide on Vasaraga. So let's get right into his skills. Vasaraga has a lot of bugs. I'm just gonna say a lot of bugs. But so do so a lot of the other characters. So we'll go right into his skills. So the skills that you really, really want are you want Battalions of Fear. He dashes forward and he does a little spin slash and that gives you charged attack. Vasaraga's main mechanic is that after he does certain actions, he gets a charged Y attack. That has It takes a long time to charge, but it does insane damage. I'll actually just show it to you right now. His main mechanic is being able to land these, these charged attacks. And as you can see, they do insane damage. Like, look at that. Like, almost 2 million. It does a lot of damage. Yeah, anyway, that's his mechanic, is that when you do certain things, it activates your triangle ability, which is the upper button, Y, which gives you those, like, really heavy, heavy smashes. The big, big smash, big dick smash. You definitely want to have the abilities that give you the charge attack. So, Battalions of Fear is one of them, and on top of being a, a gap closer. So, you definitely want that. And you definitely want Great Scythe of Grinoth, which has the same effect of giving you the special charge, and it has a higher amount of stun. So, it's, like, the main difference between the two. Battalions of fear gives you a dash dash in really good for closing in and it's also incredibly fast so it's really good at just like kind of dishing out some really quick damage great size of gurnoth it, it's really really slow but it does have a high amount of stun so if you need a stun you can just pop this thing his bread and butter ability this is like his special thing is immortal pain and so you definitely want these three abilities and immortal pain gives you debuff immunity for the duration and it also gives you undying so you have an attack boost and you also cannot die you cannot enter critical condition and this is the one ability that truly means it. So there's a lot of other abilities that are like, oh, you're invincible during this and you're not. <laughs> but this ability, you actually are. You actually are undying. So you can actually tank things like the Beth from Proto Bahamut. You can actually just tank it straight up. A lot of insta kills, you can just tank it with this ability. It's, it's that strong. So you actually do have a flex slot here and that's going to be this last slot here. We'll go through some of the abilities that you could get here. Damnation is, it's kind of a skill dump. It gives you jammed, which is a, it, it gives you more attack. It gives you enmity, an enmity boost, basically. It gives you more attack based on how low your HP is. This actually has three charges, so you can cast it three times. It actually makes you lose 30% of your HP. And since enmity is so good on Vasaraga because of immortal pain, because you can't die, you'll be at one HP for like a really long time. It makes damnation kind of a good starter before you pop your immortal pain. So you can like damnation a bit to like get you a little bit lower health to increase your damage, and then you can pop immortal pain to be immortal. On top of of giving you the buff so it's it's a pretty good choice other choices are there's violent shadows which is really good when you're surrounded when you're up against multiple targets uh deals damage around you as well as healing you so it has a little follow-up slash you can also take umbral eclipse which slows all the targets around you um slow is is pretty good so you could take that as well and nether wrath which is really good for speed running content and doing kind of difficult content because you can pop this along with immortal pain so what this does is it makes you take damage in place of your allies but if you run immortal pain you can't die so you pop this so then you're taking you're taking damage for your allies and then they can just get full combos off and not really care as far as forgotten tales farming ability it gives you hostility more likely to be attacked so it's kind of like a taunt and it drains so it's really good against uh multi bosses when you're fighting like uh those like three three boss combos you can make them all like kind of gather up on top of you so that you can get some aoe damage off i'm not gonna i'm not really gonna go too much into build because we already have guides for that if you want to check those out the, out there on our youtube channel we've got the end game build guide as well as how to progress which are both build guides but i mean we'll take a look at it real quick one thing uh here's some special vasaraga things one is ebony's poise is really really good actually his awakening is pretty good but i don't have it because zero card hates me ebony's poise is a really good ability and what this does is reduces your skill cooldowns every time you land a charged hit with the amount that you recover based on how high of the charge that you did and the reason why this is so good is because this ability is triggered by supplementary damage so if you trigger supplementary damage on a charged hit you basically double up on this and like each chunk is like 16 percent cooldown it's really crazy when you have supplementary damage so like if you have like the three supplementary damage going then you definitely want poise in order to uh get your cooldowns and i'm gonna go into that a little bit later so other than that basic stuff you don't want stamina on vasaraga specifically because he gets pretty low with his undying ability so enmity is a better choice over that and uh you can run you can run charged attack damage as well uh, I, in fact i recommend charge attack damage because uh, it synergizes with the damage mods it doesn't increase your attack it increases damage charge attack damage so it's really good it's really good for that and you know again war elemental damage cap so i'm not gonna go like too much into that actually 
a couple more things. Things I really like on Vasaraga. Again, quick cooldown, really strong on Vasaraga because of Ebony's poise with supplementary damage. And so I got like a bunch of quick cooldown there. And Nimble Onslaught because I think it's OP, honestly. I, mean, I, I really think that Nimble Onslaught is sleeper OP. And Potion Hoarder because you want to heal yourself. Because after you come out of the Undying, you will have one HP. So you want to pop your potions after the effect ends. Otherwise, you will be drained to one HP. So at the end of the Undying buff, you always end with one HP. So you want to hold your potion and the instant that buff drops you kill yourself so you don't instant die uh, and again i'm not going to go into masteries because it's about the same for every character vasaraga's ability is his uh gr gr fuck grunas gr grunas gauge now it's called grunas grinas gauge and uh gr grinas gauge is like this little Wait, what the hell where did they go where did my grinas gauge go what the hell oh there it is okay there's my grind off gauge. Gr grind off gauge fills up this scythe. And then when you're not attacking, it drains out slowly. And it gives you three buffs. The first buff is Stout Heart. He does have just a built-in Stout Heart if you just press the button. You press his special ability, Melus Unleashed. He just gets that Stout Heart buff. But then you need to like get in there and start doing charge attacks. Otherwise, it, it falls off. Uh, his second buff is Defense Up. And his third buff is Attack Up. So as you can see, when you pop it and then you start doing like some charge, you start doing some attacks. Also, Link Attack, by the way, gives you a lot. So so you can see it starts like filling up this gauge and by the way Vasaraga's other personal sigil not the poise one i was showing you the other one makes the gauge deplete deplete slower again why the awakening is pretty good on them so you can see there and then boom now i have the uh three buffs down there on my scythe and you want to like kind of be really aggro and keep attacking while i have this up ability usages so first we'll go into the general ability uses usages before we go into crazy shit which there's a lot of crazy shit on this guy first off some of his abilities so there's there's a battalion Italians of fear. Afterwards, you can follow it up with a special attack. Charge attack. That's huge damage. And again, same thing with this one. And it's got the stun. What are your basic combos on Vasaraga? He's got a couple. He has a, he has a built in gap closer, actually. So if, if your Battalions of fear is down, you can actually do a normal attack into special attack, which will charge. And it's pretty good. It goes pretty far. And if you want, you can even cancel this if you want to go like straight into it. So again, that's just a uh, regular attack cancel into special to get that to get that that charge in. And that charge in actually does activate your stat heart, which is kind of nice. Other combos he has is he's got the one combo one into this attack here, and that is not super great but there is a case using some tech that can make that good against targets that are running away from you his main big dick dps is going to be the two slash into charge into another charge And we actually, uh, also, if you link attack, he also gets charged as well, uh, just like his skills. We actually tried out his last combo, which is the three, one, two, three, into that, and then this. And actually, it's dog water. I don't understand it, but it's actually worse than the easier one. The one that's faster is actually more damage. It doesn't make any sense. So you basically want to use the one combo, which is this, to get in, and... You want to use this combo as your main DPS combo. At least without using tricks. Okay, so now we're going to get into like some of the, the crazy tricks with him. Again, when you use a skill, he's able to use his his charge attack, right? But, but, but if you cast a spell, if you look at his skills, they're really slow. So you can actually roll cancel them and the cooldown doesn't get go off. Right? But now you can still do the charge attack after. And this adds a lot of ridiculousness to this guy. So you can also do that with the two slash, the one, two into double slash, which is your really uh, high DPS combo. And you can omit the first two slashes by dodge canceling. Since these two hits don't really do much, you really want the big meaty hits at the end of the combo, which is gonna be this hit. into this hit 
And because of that, what you're going to do is you're going to attack, roll, cancel, attack, roll, cancel, and now you're in this state. For the two hits. So you can also do this with one attack into charge combo. This right here. So you go one. And then you charge this. And then... And then after... After the scythe hits, you hear the hit hit. Once you hear the second hit, you immediately roll cancel. And you can do it again. So you do one tap. And it will give you this charge. And then you get two hits. You charge immediately and you can do it again. Two hits, roll, cancel. And you can do this indefinitely. So if a target is running away from you, you can just do this over and over again. So those are like his main pretty good tech combos there. That's really all you need to play this guy. One other thing of note is if you cancel this ability, which is Great Scythe of Gurnoth, this particular hit has an insane amount of recovery with supplemental damage. So if you have supplemental damage, the cooldown recovery from your uh, Poise Sigil is insanely high. So just to illustrate that, I will show you using the um, Immortal Pain. And you can actually see the cooldowns and you can see how much it recovers. In fact, it recovers so fast with a little bit of cooldown reduction that you can indefinitely have your immortal pain up so your invincibility you can cast it again before the effect wears out so i'm gonna pop it i'm gonna roll cancel it and i'm only gonna use these charge attacks after canceling grunas and you can see every hit trunks my cooldown Look at how high it comes up every time it hits. And you can see I can cast it again. As long as you can attack the target, you are forever unkillable <laughs> on this guy. And I mean, you can run some Cascade if you want it to be even more ridiculous. I feel like Sigil slots are pretty at a premium on uh, Vasaraga compared to other characters. So it's really hard. There's so many things you want on him that Cascade's a little rough to justify slotting in. But again, the way that you do that is you cast this Scythe and you roll cancel it and then start your charge. And there you go. You can just indefinitely do this. Hit. Cast a spell. Roll cancel. And then immediately start charging. So you can use this on a lot of fights to be like incredibly mortal. Again, does less damage than this combo. But that's the price you pay for immortality, right, guys? Uh, and you do have the jam thing that you could just like kind of pop that for like bonus damage because it it kind of sets you down. So there's like basic Vasaraga e stuff there. Remember, uh, remember things of note. Remember you can use this to charge in on them, and you can actually just skill cancel that so you go really fast. And you can use this infinitely. So that's the main stuff on Vasaraga. Coming up next, we're going to do... We'll show you a little bit of combat. Do I plan to use for every character? I'm trying. And I really want to, like, know the characters before I do it. Uh, You know, in this fight, it's going to be really hard for me to get optimal combo because there's so much shit going on that I'm really just going to try to optimize my undying. So I'm going to start off with this so I can get stout heart. Going to pop my undying and start my rotations here. And just keep this going. And you can throw like these uppercuts in every now and then because they chase. So you're just kind of like a freaking beast, honestly. Like, but you have to keep an eye on your on your buff bar so that you know when it's about to run out, which is very soon. So now I'm kind of weak, and then oh, see, I died there. And that's again why you want to have potion hoarder. So you can pop that potion right when right when it runs out. So I'm going to play a little bit full health now and just kind of just get some pokes in. And again, this is why Nimble Onslaught comes in so clutch. You actually don't have to full charge this if you don't have time. You can just go like the, the quick charge there. 
All right, now I can pop my undying again, and I can go like kind of ham on this guy. And here we go with the. And it does have a lot of range, actually. It has a lot more range than it looks like. I don't know why I, I, I my stout heart drops all the time like that. It's so annoying. If that happens, you can just pop, uh, you can just pop triangle real quick to just like rebuff. And as you can see, like my cooldown is pretty much almost done. I give it like one tap, boom. It's really annoying when you lose that stout heart. And you just kind of tank it, you know? I see that my, my cooldowns are coming up, so I'm just gonna pop that pot, get myself back up to full. And again, with Potion Hoarder, you have so many pots. You just run pots for days. But you can you can drop your ult kind of to just like buy more time for your cooldown. So Vasaraga's charge attack does have a, a parry that you can use if it's fully charged. I try not to rely on those because they're not really up all the time. And if you actually want, you can actually let go of it if you actually want to get that stun off. Which sometimes I do when I'm kind of towards the end of rotation. So like, we'll just like do it here just to show. These big chunky cooldowns are actually like really good for getting your dash back up as well. Which is just like a really nice poke after you get a dodge. Utilizing that dash to get in. I'm actually just gonna ult this guy. And I know that right after this ult, actually, my skill is up. So I'm actually gonna hit him with the with the jam right here. For the buff, pre-buff, hit that. Hit him there. Again, we do the cancel there. And again, my stat heart went down, so I'm just gonna pop that. Get that back up. There's a question from chat. If you're eating damage, do you need damnation? The damnation provides a further buff. And I'll, it's really hard to get Vasaraga's caps. So it's actually not too bad. You can actually get some free dodges, like perfect dodges on this. Which, uh, if you have a uh, nimble onslaught, we'll get you some of your cooldowns back. We'll pop a pot just to stay up. All right, now we're back with our undying. Now we take our DPS window here. We try to get as much as we can here, so we keep up that undying. I'm actually just gonna hit him with the slice. Because he's gonna run anyway. Like a bitch. That's the beauty of Onslaught there, is that you can do that. Oh, I forgot to pop my skill. Oops. My bad. Remember to press your undying ability. <laughs> Otherwise you die. People die when they are killed. When they don't have undying. So we're just gonna keep charging here. Again, we're undying right now, so... Boom. Undying running out soon. Get this last hit. Hopefully. Oh. Make sure I pop that pot there so I don't die. Still pretty good damage on those, uh, new, on those, like, no charge. All right, we're back in business again. There we go. Wait for him to come down. And then he pussies out again with his girlfriend. All right, pop my undying. Here we go again. Look at this. He does not appreciate this. Ow. That was a mistake. Yeah, Immortal's almost up again, but I made a mistake there. I missed a parry. I wanted the stout heart first. Boom. He's so low, I'm just gonna hit him with that. Just pop this right here and just smash him right over the head. Good night, Galanza. I'm the real Chad. And now I'm gonna beat up on his girlfriend. 
So I've been really short much against Galanza, but this combo is really great against uh, the potato. Who's the potato? This girl in the ball. She's like a super potato ball or something. A mashed potato ball. Just hits so hard. Remember, you can do this, chase. And then you can just keep doing it over and over again. All you gotta do is land at that hit and then you dash cancel. And you can just keep chasing on this. Pop my undying. Now I'm ready for business. Also, are you really playing Vasaraga if you don't slow walk menacingly? If you don't slow walk menacingly, are you actually playing Vasaraga correctly? I don't think so. I think there's a part of it. You gotta get in the mindset. You know what I mean? You gotta get in the mindset. You gotta do a little slow walk towards the enemy. Sometimes I just like to hit her. I'm waiting for all my cooldowns before I, I pop uh, crazy daddy mode. I probably shouldn't have called it that. That was probably not uh, not a good thing to call it. It was a little sus. Did you, did you see how, how good the range is on it? It's so high. And as you can see, look, my, my ability is up again. That's what you get. That's what you get. Stupid. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching my Vasaraga guide. Uh, for more tips and tricks, ch uh, chips. <laughs> for more tips and tricks, check me out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash leaflet. Uh, I ask. I I am fine with you asking questions. I try to answer them to the best of my abilities. And uh, more videos up on YouTube as well. Uh, really appreciate a like, a sub, and a. I hit on the bell. It helps with the algorithm. Helps so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. See you guys later. Peace out.